Hey guys, it's John Bellamy here. And in the, today's video, I wanted to share a really cool case study with you about a local service-based business in the beauty space. But this process will work for really any local service business, brick and mortar, where you're delivering some type of service. Uh, so the really cool thing about this is um, it goes to show what happens when you commit to just simple, dumb and boring processes, right? And the key word there is committing um, from this perspective. So what I'm going to share with you is a campaign that we've been running um, now for uh, almost two years. It's been about 18 months um, from that perspective where we've been spending around about $5 a day. Sometimes we've lifted it to 10, but for the bulk of the period, it's been about $5 a day on paid media. Um, off one ad, one creative, and um, I just wanted to run through the numbers and everything with you. Now, the key that I want you to take away from this is if you are a local service business, like one of the biggest challenges I hear all of our clients say um, all the time, who are all small business owners, just like you, is um, I'm not exactly sure what to do. Um, should I be spending money on ads? I don't have a massive budget. Um, how often do I need to be posting? What's my follow up? All of those things, like we know that you're flat out busy running the day-to-day -day of your business, delivering and all of that. Um, and what I'm going to show, share with you in this video is to really help relieve a bit of that pressure, right? We can set these things up once. Yes, we might need to tweak it from time to time. But ultimately, we can set these processes up at once and it will really give you a really good solid foundation um, in a couple of key areas. Number one, your brand awareness. So you that local catchment area of where you're operating in or where you're servicing. People will know who you are. Great. Tick box. We want them to do that. We need them to know who you are so you've got that visibility. Um, the second thing that it's going to be doing, it's going to um, create... Um, further brand awareness, but most importantly, some engagement. Um, so people are going to be commenting, liking on your post. People are going to be sharing experiences with your business, um, driving to reviews, driving to patronage in your business, um, which leads me to the final and probably the most important thing is it's going to bring some money into your business, right? Um, and actually make you more profitable from that side. So let me um, share my screen. Let's run through this for you. I'm going to run through it fairly, um, you know, top level and quick for you. I'm just conscious of everyone's time watching this. And as always, if you like this type of video and this type of content, just uh, like and subscribe here and if you do have questions, if you'd like to have a conversation, just reach out. There's probably a button somewhere or in the comments, there's a link somewhere. Reach out to me. I'm more than happy to have a conversation with you and just sort of see how that we can help your small business. All right, let's uh, share this screen. Perfect. So um, the business is that we're talking about here. It's a local um, beauty business called Pampered Wax Club. Um, this is Nat. Um, from, from that perspective, full disclosure, we used to have a relationship. Um, not that that matters, but if people are going to go in the comments, I've seen something where you guys used to date. Yes, we did many years ago, right? Um, so now that we all know all of that, um, we are actually, you know, clients um, of, of or that's a client of ours in, in our marketing business. So we, we set this ad up in this actual post on her Facebook and Instagram page. You can see here back in September of 2022, Time of recording this video, we're April of or end of April in 2024. So it's been roughly about 18 months. It's a pretty simple ad, right? There's nothing like, honestly, there is nothing super exciting or special about this. It just works. Um, and we've just gone, we've just told the people what they want. Hey, a quality waxing treatment will last for several weeks, typically four to six weeks, depending on your hair growth. Why as hair is removed, blah, 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 blah. Like we give them the information and we go, hey, if you've got questions or you want a treatment, you know, go, go to our website and book in your treatment, right? We've put a couple of hashtags in there back in 2022. But what's really important and what's working wonders in this campaign is the is the creative, right? We've got the logo here in Cool and Gattis, which is a seaside town down on the southern end of the Gold Coast here in Australia um, for all your waxing and tinting needs. Um, treatments available, women and men, gives them an idea, book now, gives got it's got Nat's phone number there as well, as well as the um the web address as well. So that that's the ad, right? So from a copy perspective, that's what we're looking at from the ad. Um, now, because this has been running for almost 18 months, you'll see we've got like quite a lot of engagement. There's just, once again, there's no variations of this ad, right? Um, there's 
there's um, the information here, 150 um, going down there. And then we've got all of these comments. So we've got like 24 comments. And these are from, um, you know, some of Nat's clients who have, who have come in, got a treatment. It's from people who have booked off the ad, gone in, had a treatment and given her the review. And um, speaking to Nat about this, she goes, John, it is amazing the amount of new clients that actually book in and go, oh my God, one of the reasons why I booked was because you had all of this positive feedback from this particular ad, right? Um, so, so good ad creative, copy is pretty good. Um, it just tells the people what it is, but the consistency of having this message going out is key. So if we talk about consistency, let's go over to the ads manager. Um, so what we're what we're looking at here is cost per result is around $24. Okay. So we've spent, and I just want to show a couple of things here. We've spent over the, the lifetime. Okay. So I've just gone maximum number here. It's been going for the 18 months. Um, we spent $3,360.49, right, um, on this ad. We haven't turned it off. Like I said at the beginning, majority of the ad spend over this time has been about 5 bucks a day. We did increase it for a little period to $10 a day, right? Um, so what this has resulted in is 140 people going and scheduling through the website. So if I go to the website, this is what the website now looks like. Um, and they've just come in here and clicked book now and they've gone through there or they've come down to the bottom um, and they've you know requested more info here um, from that perspective. So this does not include people who have called um, Nat or, or interacted via like Facebook chat or anything like that. Um, the, the, the numbers that we're talking about here is literally website schedules. Okay. So she's had 140 um, that's come through from there for, for, so it's cost $24 essentially to acquire a client um, for 3,360 bucks, um, which is cool. But so, so that's from the ad side of things. So let me just um, go to a calculator real quick and let's just, let's just work this out because I want you to think about this. Remember, this campaign's been about 18 months in total. Five to ten dollars a day has been the spend on that. Average has been about five bucks a day. So if we look at that that ad cost that we've spent, so it was uh three thousand three hundred and sixty dollars, three thousand three hundred and sixty dollars and change, like in 49 cents or something. So let's just say it was three thousand three hundred and sixty. And if I just come like we're not trying to get leads or anything like that, we're just going straight to sales. Um, so the clients, like the actual people who have physically booked in and scheduled an appointment um, has been 140. How do we know this? Because it tells us in the ad right here, we've had 140. Um, and we know that those people have booked in and showed up. So 24 bucks um, to acquire a client. Now, in Nat's business, um, she has a range of um, solutions going from about $15 um, all the way through to about $80, $90, right? Um, when you break down the average transaction size um, in Nat's business, it's around about 50 bucks is the average spend that a client spends with her, right? So she has clients that might come in and spend $200 a treatment and she'll have clients that might spend 15 bucks. But on average, it's about $50 um, a treatment. So if we just have a look at this ROI, we've just spent $3,360 Average treatments like 50 bucks. We've had 140 of them. It's been $7,000 in revenue. Okay. So about, about two times um, the, the spend, but that's first transaction. Okay. So the ad's profitable from first transaction for, for every dollar she's spending, she's bringing in two, right? Which is, which is great. So every dollar on ads, she's making $2 in revenue, right? Um, from that perspective, top line, we're not talking profit here, we're talking top line revenue, very important um, from there. So that, that's fantastic. But what's really important is in a business like Natalie's, and maybe this is the same for your business, perhaps it's gonna be slightly different. So you just need to put your own business metrics on there. What I wanna talk about here is the return on investment from an annual revenue perspective. So what we know in Nat's business is people typically come back on average around four to six, um, for every four to six weeks, right? In her business, they come and repeat repeat purchase. So we know that that's roughly around about nine times a year. Um, and we've looked at these numbers, right? So um, 50 by nine is 450 um, annual value, okay? A client's annual value. So when we actually have a look at that and her, her um, attrition rate or fall off rate of client is very, very low. In fact, on average, her clients stick around for around about three and a half years. 
um, from that perspective. And they they literally, people typically will leave um, because they've moved. Um, something dramatically has happened in their life financially and they just can't afford that luxury anymore. Um, or on the very rarity of case, they were just like, hey, Nat, we didn't like your solution, which is a very rare, right? And that's the same pretty much in that whole beauty industry, hair industry, like all of that. They're the typical scenarios of why people will leave um, from that perspective. So what we're looking at here is when you look in that annual client value um, of $450, We've spent $3,360 to acquire those 140 customers, um, and that has produced an annual client value of $63,000. So it's about 18, you know, 100 or what is it, 1,000. 875% um, ROI um, on, on that uh, investment, which is spectacular. So why is this important? Okay, it's really important to know the math in your business. Now, how much more confident would you be in your business to go, hey, you know what? I can allocate that $5 a day consistently and never turn it off. Like this is the goal here, right? We never want to turn the ad off. So I want to spend five bucks a day building that brand awareness that can um, get to people to, to know me in my business and ultimately bring in new clients, right? You will never turn that off. In fact, Nat's like John. Um, we had a chat the other day, actually. She's like, John, this ad, I, I just never want to turn it off. Like I like the creative, I don't want to change the creative, don't want to do anything because it it works. Like it's been going for 18 months now. It works consistently. Are we doing some other ads and things like that? Um, we're looking at increasing some additional ad spends and things, but like that ad works its backside off. That, so it's really important. Um, and this is, once again, if we come back to those numbers, um, once again, like if you know that math is working in your business, once again, cannot stress this enough. You've got to understand the math um, in your business. You would be in that same scenario as Nat, um, to not go and turn off those ads, right? Um, I'm going to stop harping on about that, but I just really need to make sure that you understand this. So what are some of the other cool things that we've noticed? Well, if we just go into Meta Business Suite, so I'm looking at a last 90 days, you can see here, so from January to, to end of April, uh, time of recording, what we're seeing here is like just the reach, right? So if, it always gives us that breakdown, right? Um, so we've reached 11,000 people from the ads. So just that $5 a day, we know that that ad has got in front of 11,000 people within that targeted catchment area that we're looking at. So we know, once again, that brand um, repetition, repetition. It's like, as we all know, I want a red BMW. Um, say that a couple of times and all of a sudden you're going to start seeing that out there, that reticular activating system gets, gets awakened. Um, this is the same thing that we're looking for in your local service business, right? Um, is that people are consistently seeing your brand and your brand message consistently day in, day out, day in, day out. Whether they buy from you or not, is irrelevant right now. We need them to know who you are, right? And this is the difference between companies, particularly small businesses that invest consistently in paid media versus not investing in paid media, right? It's people will know who you are. So we can see there from the ads, we're getting a truckload of um, reach coming through there. And then the organic reach is going up as well. So you can see here the organic reach has gone up, if I just highlight that, by um, by 43%. Okay. So why is that organic reach um, going up by 43%? Um, the main reason from that is because now we have been working with Natalie um, on her social media scheduling as well. Right. So not only do we have the paid media that's going out, the five dollars a day, the birds, if you can hear that, are agreeing with me. <laughs> not only do we have the paid media going out consistently five dollars a day, bringing in that brand awareness, bringing in new clients into the into the waxing business. But we also have a consistency of posting at least every other day on um, the social channels. And those for Nat, uh, Facebook and Instagram primarily are those two channels. Oh, and sorry, Google My Business. Um, so three channels there that are going out every other day. Okay, so about 15 posts a month consistency. And we're seeing the, the reach grow. We're seeing the engagement grow. And it's just all about that brand visibility for her local small business. So I'm going to leave it there. I just really hope that you found this video of value. And I hope that um, you can sort of see what is possible on such a small budget. 
once again, just some key takeaways, um, $5 a day on paid media for a local service business. It's a great start. If you can spend more than that, spectacular, right? But five bucks a day is a great start. There is no barrier for you to do it. We're talking like 150 bucks a month. It's it's chump change, right? To start getting that out there. Um, in having one really good um, ad with good quality creative, driving to a landing page or your website, somewhere to, to attract the leads from that perspective. You could also use a Facebook lead form, messenger ads, whatever that is. We, we need to work that out specifically for you. And coupling that with the paid media with a consistent social strategy, right? And we haven't even spoken about bringing them into a CRM and email and all of that. We've literally just spoken one ad, social strategy, and that has produced over 140 clients um, for Natalie inside of the last 18 months. Um, as you can see there, it was $3,360 in ad spend. Uh, and then we've got an annual client value of around 60 plus thousand dollars. Great return on investment. This is so doable for your business. Um, once again, trust you found that a value. My name's John Bellamy. If you've got any questions, please comment, like, reach out to me. We'd be happy to have a chat and make sure you subscribe to my channel as well. Thanks guys. Bye.